feel like people are looking at me. Somebody just touch me on my shoulder. Stop! This is a camera. What was going on? <laughs> we enter this world knowing only life. Yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, Whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Tonight we venture deep into a woodlands where few people dare to enter. Rumoured to be haunted by multiple spirits, this is Aspel Pumping Pit. The pit was built in 1871 for the purpose of draining the canal and King Coal Mines. The main building housed three large engine pumps to remove the water. It ceased operating in 1932 and its closure caused subsequent floodings of the Scott Lane Colliery. Now it lays dormant and in ruins and seems more of a hangout for the local youths. Sadly, many people lost their lives during the mining era and some of those in tragic circumstances. Locals have reported seeing ghostly shadows and figures wandering the ruins. Strange, unexplained voices have also been heard. And the sounds of footsteps walking around and the feeling of an oppressive presence can be felt. It's creepy. It's a creepy place. And it's, it's one of those that it shouldn't be here. There, there's no rhyme or reason as to, to why this structure is just here in the, the middle of nowhere because it's it's something to do with the uh, you know the colliery but that's miles away so what the hell is this structure doing here so it's just it's uh, an anomaly in my opinion and it's there's something very very weird about this place this place when you walk around it in the daytime feels completely strange and different to the nighttime and you can feel that an eerie energy about it and you feel you know to me it feels like people are just watching you throughout the different trees they're looking around and you're thinking am i alone i think tonight that it, we're not going to be alone and there's going to be a few different spirits that come through and i'm hoping as we delve deeper into the investigation and uh start to figure out what's going on we start to make contact with whatever could be haunting this building What will we encounter as we prepare to investigate Aspel Pumping Pit? I'm here at Aspel Pumping, mining pump. Um, oh God, it's so slippy. Look, um, I do have a REM pod down there. I have my K2 and I've, I've kind of just gone with less equipment today only because it's super slippy and so dark, it's so hard to see. Um, I may put, just so I've got my hands, I may put my, my K2 down, you know, just so you can see it. I think that might be a little bit better and then I can walk, you see. Um, my K2 is my REM pod's not going off. It's over there. You can just see it with the aerial. And my K2 hasn't gone off so far. We have arrived at um, Aspel Pumping Pit. 
it's got an eerie feel because it's pitch black. It's night time, there's nobody about, but you do wonder, is somebody about? Because it's quite, if you look, it's quite Blair Witchy. It's in the middle of a field, um, in the middle of nowhere, if you like. Uh, and I know you can hear, well, I can personally hear, creepy noises around me anyway. Okay, whoa, creepy noises around me. But it's animal, it's, it's nature. It's nature. That's what you gotta tell yourself. It's nature. Don't worry. Just get on with it, okay? Literally just turned the camera on. Set the REMS out on that one there. He's already reacting to something. As I was setting up the equipment, um, the REM nearest my bag just started to, to go. The REM went off, which to me is confirmation because that's intelligent interaction. The feelings of uh, a, a, an oppressive atmosphere building um, really got quite intense. So, I am in the woods some ruins to an old colliery. That's my bag there. I've got a rem just there. And a rem just over there. And I'm just around in this area. Which is very wooded. Looks more like something out of the Blair Witch to be honest. I'm just gonna get up there. And then I'm going to call out. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're up. There. There we go. Nice of you up here. Um, now, in this place, um, it's from the Victorian era. So, people would have lost their lives because it was a mining. Hello? was a mining pit, so obviously people would have lost them. Can you hear that? Hello? Um, they would have lost lads lads during the mining, so I'm going to call out for um, those people today. There may have been other things on top of this land before. You never know, and you never know who lost their lives out here. Could have been anybody. Could have been a farmer, because we are quite close to a farm. Could have been a farmer. Could have been you. It could have been anybody. So I'm going to call out tonight. See what we get. Is there anybody there? Oh, my God. I just keep hearing a constant talk. Can you whistle? Can you set my alarms off down there? The hell was that? Oh, it sounds like a creaky door. Let me get down from here, I think. So, what I'm going to do, Bex is investigating in a separate part. I'm going to set up my equipment, and because this is quite a relatively new location, if you like. God, I can hear weird noises already. I'm going to set up... Oops, I know my equipment's falling over. I've got a pressure sensor that I'm going to set up, which is here. And place that there. I've also got my K2 meter, okay? I think Paul's got the ovulus out there. And I've got my light, my infrared lighty stuff. There we go, just to light the background up. Oh, and we've already got straight away readings on both the K2 meter and the pressure sensor, which is proper weird. It was amazing to see the K2 meter and the pressure sensor alarm, especially as we were investigating in the wilderness. There were no outside influences or electrical interferences that could have caused the meters to alarm. So I can only suggest 
that something paranormal was starting to happen. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. So I'm going to leave that around about here, okay? So that's both of those reacting already instantaneously. Thank you. So that's going to bode well for tonight. Is there a presence here? Can you make a noise, a sound, communicate with me as well as affecting my meters? Come close to me. I'm not here to harm you or to disrespect you. I just want to find out your story. Did you work here? This is going mental over here. Did you work here? You did. There's no electric here at all. So it shouldn't be coming off. Okay, you did. I'm going to step back. I just want to try a little experiment. If you could go along with me here. Can you keep alarming these meters? I'd have blurred. Hold on a second, family. Let me just sort that out. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm trying to see if there's anybody over my shoulder other than looking. I'm trying to use the camera as my eyes to see if there's anybody there. I didn't hear anything, it was more of a feeling that there was somebody there. Can you come and do something please? Let me know that you're here. If there's a miner that uh, lost their life perhaps. Would you like some help? Do you know, really odd one. Names just popped in my head. No idea why. Cedric. Cedric of all the sort of odd names to have. And yet, and yet, that just got a hit. Cedric, thank you. Can you step away from that if your name's Cedric? The next, wow. Fantastic, thank you so much. You see, it pays to trust your instincts. I could have ignored that name completely and that REM may not have gone off. Now again, I'm in the middle of the woods. I mean, it's, it's trees, it's, you know, there's no, there's no houses even nearby. So there's no reason why that should have gone off. But I said, I came out with the name that I got in my head, Cedric, used it, and the REM went off. I had a name pop into my head, um, Cedric, and I worked with that. And as soon as I said that name, the REM reacted. Names just popped in my head, no idea why. Cedric. Cedric of all the sort of odd names to have, and yet, and yet. So it wasn't, you know, a five, ten second pause. I called out, is your name Cedric, or are you Cedric, something like that. And, you know, to me that says it's intelligent. So, Cedric, were you a miner? Can you set that off again for me, if you're here with me? Can you talk to me? Can, t can you tell me your... Can you hear the constant hum of, like, somebody talking? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me how you passed? Was it in these mines? Can you... Tell me anything. What is that noise? That is so off putting. What is that noise? Do you know what it sounds like? It sounds like somebody wolf whistling. Wolf whistling? Do you want me to do it? <whistles> is there anybody there? Can you wolf whistle back? Oh my god! Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you do it again? Just one more time.
No. Thank you very much. I couldn't believe that I'd caught the whistle on camera and it felt like I had eyes all around me watching me. Is there anybody there? Can you wolf whistle back? Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. Could this have been because I was a female in a male orientated uh, world back then? Oh. What was that then? No way. I can hear noises. And the meter's alarming again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you walk in front of this doorway? Are you around here? I'm going to come out. I'm going to leave the meters there. I'm going to have a look. Are you, are, are you out here? Come on. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. I heard like somebody's name. What's your name? Tell me your name. Did you work here? Come on. Come closer to me. Do you know with this location, I feel like people are looking at me. People are all over. And I feel like they're looking as if to say, what are you doing? It looked like somebody walked past the camera then. Is there anybody here that wants to speak to me? My name's Bex and I'm a paranormal investigator and I just want to make contact. Are you setting off my alarm? You're welcome to come close. I mean no harm, so please don't harm me. Look at that. It's a strange feeling to this place. Can't really, can't really describe. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay, so, yet again, new batteries in the ramp, and by the looks of it, that one has been drained. So that is Neither use nor ornament to us now. And we'll put that back over here. Leave that there for a minute. So that's uh, down to two rems now. Oh, Jesus. Have you um, just drained the energy from that device to do something? I don't think this place, to be honest, I don't think this place has been investigated much. Um, and then they're the, the locations that we like because they get you get quite a bit of activity if you stay long enough. Um, because the souls, the spirits that wander are intrigued about what you're doing. If you're wondering why I've got this silly hood up, it's because we're in a forest. And trees keep weighing on me head. Can you, do you want me to hold the K2? Let me get me light away and I can hold the K2. Do you think it's funny what you see? You see a ghost hunting or you see a seeking out an afterlife? Do you wonder and think it's funny? No way. What the hell's that? I got a voice and I heard something. It sounded like clog. Clog. It was disembodied, so it was hard to tell. But it sounded like clog. Is your name Clog? I was so glad to find out that we caught the voice that I'd heard. 
Um, to me, it sounded like somebody saying clog. No way. After researching online, I was amazed to find out that locally there is a ghost known as Clog. Not because his shoes were red, but they were red with blood. Could this be the same spirit haunting the pumping pit? Oh, I don't like this. It just feels terrifying. Can you come closer to me? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like it's happening. Hello? Oh my God. This is horrible. I'll tell you what I've noticed now. I've come out here, okay? And the meters in there are not reacting. It's only when you're around because the energy of the spirits is following me. Sugar. Can you give me um, a sign you hear? Are you still with me? Go on. Yes, thank you. Let me try and get that in. Thank you. Can you, can you touch the meter there, in front of me? Move it, if you can move it. Throw something or move something. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. There's a, a strange stillness to it now. It feels uh, different. Thing. It doesn't feel right now. It's gone very, very cold. Is anybody going to talk to me? Anybody at all? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Can you set this alarm off? These lights. If you go close to it, it will go off. What I had just caught was amazing, but I didn't hear the responses at the time. When I asked if somebody was going to talk to me, you can hear a clear response, and that response was somebody saying hello. Is anybody going to talk to me? Anybody at all? Then the spirit interacts with my REM pod. Thank you very much. When I ask for it to come close to my K2 meter, you can clearly hear it say no. Thank you so much. Can you set this alarm off? These lights. If you go close to it, it will go off. Could this be Red Clogs making himself known? I'm looking behind me. Always look behind me. Are you there? Are you standing there looking at me? Oh my God. Did you hear that? Was that, was that you beside me? There was a, a, like a jump next to me. When I said, are you behind me? Was Are you standing behind me, yes, beside me? Can you set this, my K2 off? That was a, a big jump. Like, almost like you jumped up there. From there, rather. From there, down to there. Is that what you used to do here? Did you used to jump down? You scared me a little. However, if you want to do it again, Feel free. Maybe you could appear on the camera. Maybe you could show yourself. Just sliding up. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Exactly what I wanted. That was bloody brilliant. I can hear somebody walking around on the floor. You might be able to hear Bex on her investigation. Thank you. She's just around the corner. So if you hear a female, it's probably Bex. But there's something around here. And it's freaking weird. Can you show yourself to me? I heard the name clog. Can you whistle for me or make a noise or a tap if your name is clog? That was a weird noise. That was more or less in my ear. I don't know if the camera heard it. I hope it did. Again, I'm trying to use the camera to look over my shoulder around and turn around. If there's somebody behind me, can you come to my right shoulder? Jesus. Oh Jesus, something touched me. I, I could hear somebody coming close and I hope we've caught it on this, but I, I could hear somebody walking close to me and then a hand went on my shoulder. Somebody just touched me on my shoulder. You never get used to that. You never ever get used to being touched. Oh, jeepers. That was... Uh... Oh, I'm just turning the... I know I should face it that way. Oh, yeah. That was a, a really weird sensation. Cedric, did you just touch me? I don't mind, I'm not crazy about it, but I don't mind. But I need you to give me confirmation that that was you. So, can you do something with that device again? Just to let me know that that was you. Oh, it's like a thud over here. Is that you that thudded? Come on, don't be shy now, come close to me. I promise you I'm not here to do anything other to than communicate with you. Thank you. Asking you shall receive exactly. Thank you so much. And I heard your voice before as well. Oh, thank you so, so much for the acknowledgement. This is awesome. What's in there? <coughs> like a tunnel ventilation shaft. Thank you. Really do appreciate that. I know it's a different style of investigation for me. However, I do feel a little bit terrified at this moment. And I'm trying to just keep my cool because we are in the middle of nowhere. Oh my God. Hello? Hello? The activity was intensifying, and at this point I decided to seek out Bex to delve deeper into our investigation. Paul moved over to a new area, and with so much happening already, what more are we about to encounter?
What we've decided to do is join the forces yeah. and see if we can increase the level of activity. Yeah. Now, what has happened is I've been hearing weird things, Bex has been hearing weird things, and we want to drum the energy up. Now, the best way to do that is to do two things. One is to use a singing bowl, and the other is to use our chant that we use on the show mm -hmm. all the time because it was designed to increase the spiritual energy. So Bex is going to start off with a singing bowl, and I'm going to get the chant ready. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. If anybody's here, Come close to us, come and communicate. Let us know that you are here. My name's Sean. My name's Bex. And we're not here to harm you or to disrespect you. We just want to make contact. That's all we want to do. Please come close to us. Use our energy. That's right. We've got some equipment we're going to place out. We've got a REM pod if Bex will grab the REM pod if you want to come close to it. Feel free to use it. Walk towards us. We know that you may have worked here, you've been involved with the minds and the processes in this place. We only want to hear your side of the story. That's all we want to do. The REM pod's on the floor. Can you come and see if you if you fancy talking to us? Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Can you tell us your name? Thank you so much. And you've set it off. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. Now that div wow. wow, no way. That never happens. And the run is going off again. Just trying to sort another piece of kit out. And that went off. So I'm just going to set that down. Just on there for a minute. So again with the, the REMS reacting, um, where I was no power lines, there's no uh, energy sources, it, it was just ruins, trees, branches, rubble. No reason for the REM to go off. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. So I've just got the ovulus out of my bag. So let's see if... Uh... Anybody wants to short to me through this, although that rep would still be good, as well as the one that's on the edge of this wall here. Is anybody here with me? Cedric, is your are you here with me? Can I say is your presence here with me? Are you here with me, Cedric? Or anybody else? I don't mind who wants to talk to me. I'm quite happy to communicate with anybody. Just having a look around this area. Oh, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Oh no, I think it was camel, camel glue. No, 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 no. No, me light. Oh, the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was like a weird. Thank you so wasp, much. Growly noise. Do you know what it sounded like to me? It what? sounded like somebody was jumping. Yeah. Now, the um, before, it felt like somebody was jumping down next to me, and it felt like that just then, and yeah. then that pressure pressure sensor went off. Can this... you do it again? Do you hear that? Scream. Hello. Is anybody here? Hello? Yeah, yeah. 
I've got an idea. Go, you walk down there. Mm. Right, and I'll ask them to do something to you. I can't you. see anything. Okay. I'll give you a light. Here we go. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bex is going to head down there. Can you come close to Bex? Follow Look. Bex. She... <laughs> Lovely, isn't he? Send me okay. down here. Send me down here. Right, I've got the K2 here. Good. You've got the meter there. Uh, sorry, the um, camera there. Can you touch Bex or throw something in between us? Fat. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Can we get your acknowledgement. Can you touch Sean somewhere on the leg? Oh, do you hear that whistle? Yeah, yeah. Can I... you whistle again? You've got no idea, unless you're here, you've got no idea just how um, daunting it is to do these outdoor locations. Boot. 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 What about a boot? What? Are you missing a boot? Did you lose a boot? What was strange here with the ovulus is that it produced the word boot. 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 Earlier on, I had a voice that sounded like clog. Ned. What the hell? No way. Was there a connection? Could this have been the infamous uh, spirit known as Red Clog? I believe it was. Can you touch this metal stick here? Or the one that's down there? You, you know how to use that, you touched that one a few minutes ago, this one does the same. Can you do something else for me please? Oh, reason. <clears throat> do you want a reason why I want you to do this? Is that what you're saying? You need a reason. Run. Oh no, not running. Not running. But I can give you a reason. My name's Paul, and what I'm trying to do is find out if there's anybody here that lost their life and are still here on this earth plane haven't passed on, haven't gone to heaven if you like to meet up with the loved ones so if that's you if that's your case then I'm here to try and talk to you holy crap you have to see that that's me setting that up I'm trying to get the angle pull Yes, I'm Paul. Thank you. That's magnificent. I said, my name is Paul and I'm here to talk to you. The ovalist said, Paul. Now the chances of that, I couldn't even give you a figure, but, you know, to me that says it's intelligent. So, is your name Cedric? Is that your name? It's so good that you know my name and you've actually repeated it. Thank you so much for that. Ghost Dimension. Ghost Dimension. You want to walk towards Bex? Only because he's scared. Follow me, if you wish. Did you pass here? Are you... I keep hearing. Did I you hear the name Clog again? Clog? Yeah, like Clog. Oh, Clock. Clog. Clog. Like no. Clog or Clock. It was Clog or Clock. Don't go with the wrong name. It was Clog or Clock. We're laughing because it can go wrong with that. <laughs> However, okay, it was Clog. <gasps> yeah. 
Is Validation that your name? clog. Clog? Clog. It's going off again. It's going off. It's going off. Your name's Clog. Oh, I just got the K2 going as well. Clog, it's gone off. It's yeah. going off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clog. Your name was Clog. Clog. What were you doing here? Fantastic. Were you a workman? Yes. Yes. Did, Did you, you work in the mines? Yes. Oh my god. Did you lose your life here? <gasps> Can you do something for us, Clog? Can you show yourself? Let me grab this. Whoa, thank you. The hell is that noise? Like a drill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Constant. Can you do. The hell? What's going on? We was getting another piece of equipment, K2 light was on. I just thought, what was that light then? Can you, tell you what, right? Can you point it down there, I reckon? Right. Can you show yourself to us on the camera clock? Show yourself to us if you can. If this goes off, I'll let you know. And five. Oh, it's going off. As soon as I put it down. Whoa, and again. Wow, the activity's amazing. But they're not touching the rem. <whistles> Touch the rem. Touch that. Okay, that will that will light up if you took. Okay, help me. Okay. Touch the rem. Come to like, come to the clear. I can't speak. I'm, I'm mixing the words up, and this is starting to go off. I'm going to Maybe you, maybe you had a different long. Maybe you were like maybe foreign. Like you know, a condition like um, where he was losing his marbles. So I just uh, heard some movement down here. Kind of hoping that rem might have gone off. But not yet. It's still early. Can you talk to this? Oh, loud. Who's being loud? Is it me? I don't know if you can see that. Am I being loud? I don't mean to be, I'm just, uh, I don't know at what level, what volume to talk to you at. See, I can't physically hear you with my ears. If you're talking to me, I can't hear you. So I just need you to, to try and use this box or use the devices that are out to, to let me know that you're here. If you can do that. That'll be amazing. You're doing fantastic anyway, I think you're getting the gist of how this device works. Do you hear that? Yeah. That sounded like marbles. Yeah. Are you here with us now? Clog? Whoa. Oh, that's a horrible wind that went with I that. Did not like bad that. timing, wasn't it? Yeah. Clog? I think we need to get out Who of here. Who the hell this is bit. Clog? Clog. Obviously a worker, he told us. Yeah. On the K2. Can you, I tell you what. What? I heard a footstep and then that went off. Wow, got a massive headache. Clog? Clog? What is it that you're doing here? Why do you work, did you work here? Did that go off? Don't know, I didn't see. Did you work here? As, or did you pass here? Is it, I viewed the person that people are seeing multiple times around this building. We could hear clear noises all around us and our equipment was responding to our questions. Can you, I tell you what. What? I heard a footstep and then that went off. As Sean asked if this person had passed, what we didn't see was the response on the K2 meter at the time. As, or did you pass here? It was clear that we had an intelligent spirit communicating with us. Footsteps. Yeah, can you hear them? Yeah. Listen. Listen. We're it like somebody's shuffling. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, right there. Right there. We just heard you, didn't we? No one there. Back there anything. Just the horses. Because I feel like um, if somebody or somebody's around. Yeah, I do. Maybe. Anybody around here? Clog, are you around here? Clog. Oh, this is so weird, isn't it? So I think that's the last word. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be thinking about. Ooh, hello. Something over there then. Sounded like something hit the wall. Just gonna put the torch on so I can see where I'm going. Sounded like something hit the wall over here then. And it would be damn near impossible to find anything unless it was out of the ordinary. Yeah. Oh, well, I spoke. Let's have a look. General. General Knight. Knight, it's definitely night. Definitely night. Is that an observation or are you telling me good night? Which is it? Can you let me know? This is weird, man. Do you know? Oh! Oh! What the? Somebody just touched you. Stop! This is the camera. What was going, going on? What? Some sort of voice, man's voice. What did it say? Yeah, 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 but that's what I've been hearing. Oh, unbelievable, man. No Jeez. way. Jeez. Oh, I don't like it, you know. Really don't like it. No, we'll get off. It's one yeah. of the locations I'm not liking. Well, do you know what? We can, hey, we've got enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you hear the whistle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy me. Oh, is that, that, oh my God. Whistle. Yeah, I heard that and I heard, uh, like, you know, like you would on a horror movie. Uh, I just want to go. Yeah, let's go, because it's getting a bit intense. Nice. Stuff's getting thrown. Yeah. You can't deal with stuff no, like that. No, You've no. just got to get out. Get out now. Okay, let's go. But thank you for doing what you did. We appreciate everything that you've done. We're not here to harm you. We just want to find out if there's an afterlife. And we've done it. We've done it. Thank you.